Then place a sheet of non-woven paper between the display and the keyboard to protect the display. Use the P5 pentalobe driver to remove screws from the lower case. The screws are very soft, please be careful when you work. Lift the lower case by the suction handle. Insert one corner of an opening pick into the gap under the lower case. You should feel and hear the clip pop free. Both sides are opened in the same way. There are also two hidden clips at the location of the triangle icon. And pull the lower case firmly like the direction of the arrow, away from the display hinge. Remove the lower case. Make sure the small black locking tab is open. Disconnect the battery board data cable by sliding it out from its socket on the logic board. Use the T3 Torx driver to remove the screws of the trackpad cable connector bracket. Disconnect the trackpad cable by gently prying its connector straight up from the logic board. Lift the battery board data cable connector off. Use the T5 Torx driver to remove the screw of the battery power connector and the screw of the battery board. Lift the battery power connector, disconnecting the battery. It is easily damaged, please be careful. Locate the adhesive pull tab on the side of the battery cells and use the spudger to separate the pull tab. Tighten the pull tab with tweezers and slowly pull out the adhesive strip. That the adhesive strip is prone to breakage. Avoid excessive pulling, peel off the adhesive slowly. Avoid excessive pulling, peel off the adhesive slowly. Repeat the same procedure on the other side. That the adhesive strip is prone to breakage. Avoid excessive pulling. Peel off the adhesive slowly. Put the plastic scraper card to the edge of the battery cell. There is a trackpad at the bottom of the middle battery cell. Pry up the battery cell. Make sure the battery cell is separated from the upper case. Please be careful with the trackpad cable and do not squeeze and damage it. Pry up the battery cell. Make sure the battery cell is separated from the upper case. Remove the battery. If possible, please take your e-waste to an R2 or e-steward certified recycler. After removing the battery, use the spudger to clean any remaining adhesive fragments. Attach the adhesive strip to the back of the new battery. Pay attention. Attach the adhesive strip to the back of the new battery. 
one battery cell, two adhesive strips. Place it in the correct position as shown in the video. Slowly remove the clear protective film from the new battery. Align the interface of the new battery with the screw holes, adjust its position. Use the T5 Torx driver to install the screw securing the battery board. Lift the new battery cells, remove the protective film from the adhesive strip. And then align and press down to secure. Use the same method to peel off the adhesive strip protective film on all six cells. After placing it down, press each part of the battery repeatedly. Use the spudger to press the battery board power connector flat. Use the T5 Torx driver to install the screw of the battery power connector. Don't let the battery power connector press against the battery cable. Lay the trackpad cable flat along the middle of the battery. Place the trackpad cable connector bracket. Use the T3 Torx driver to install the securing screws. Align the battery cable with the connector socket and slide it into its socket. Use the spudger to gently flip down the battery cable socket latch. Cover the MacBook, then hold the lower case close to the display hinge area. Press the middle and both sides position of the lower case. Ensuring the buckle has been locked. Use the P5 pentalobe driver to install the screws on the lower case. If there are any issues with your MacBook, please get in touch with us. Thank you.